of the yield curve because we talk about it a lot, the twos and tens, and how it really affects banks and whether it really discourages banks from lending. I'm going to put up a chart here that shows the blue line going up is commercial uh, bank loans and leases, okay? The, you can see the green, the, the green is going down. That's the twos and tens. How is it affecting your business? Well, um, I think right now that the uh, back end of the curve is probably uh, suppressed a bit from where it should be naturally. So there's a number of factors, low global interest rates. Uh, there's some temporal issues around, uh, you know, tensions in emerging markets, trade tariff tensions, uh, U.S. political uncertainty that I think have the 10-year overbid. So I think you have to look at where is the loan demand in the economy, and if uh, it's strong, you have to be there to support your customers and make loans. So we're seeing good uh, demand on the commercial and industrial side, good demand in commercial real estate, and there's pockets in consumer where we're also seeing some, some nice activity. Does it limit your ability to make money because you can't charge as much interest as you otherwise well, might? Well, the, the, the good news is that most banks are um, asset sensitive and more exposed to the short end of the curve. So as the short rates are going up, our loans are repricing uh, faster than deposits still. So, mm. so the rise in short rates is beneficial to our net interest margin. Still, but for how long? Because JP Morgan on the last call, they said that the competition with So it's really interesting to watch this because uh, a lot of economic collapses or just when economies will slow down is as interest rates will go up. So it's really important to understand this when you're investing. So if you're a cryptocurrency investor, uh, I think if you've been uh, following my channel, I've been bringing up interest rates because interest rates affect the economy. The economy obviously affects the equity market, the real estate market, the, the uh, bond and stock market which all ties into commodities and crypto. And so that's why uh, looking for moon coins is a great way to try to get rich. But long term, even if you don't make crazy gains in crypto, just understanding economic po uh, policies and investment strategies as uh, things will obviously change in the market with global trends, I think that's a great skill to have. So. Hopefully, if you brought to this channel because you're invest interested in cryptocurrency, great. But the whole goal is to get you interested in other asset classes because you should never put all your eggs in one basket. And um, I'm going to be sharing more content in, on this channel that kind of goes over what the yield curve is. And if you did look at the chart, basically the summary is that the lending is going down because our economy is slowing down, whether you know they want to say it or not. And a lot of the money that has been used, if you've looked at my other videos, is for stock buybacks. So they're not actually like creating more products. All they're doing is just taking money from the loans and buying up the stock price, uh, buying up their stock to raise the stock price. Why do they do that? Because the people that run the company own the majority share of stocks. And then it's kind of like a Wolf of Wall Street. You pump up your stock price, you start <laughs> slowly cashing out and holding your cash and waiting for the market to crash so you can rebuy, buy the dip. And uh, I think this goes on in crypto very often too. So let me know your thoughts on this and I will talk to you soon.